freedom is coming tomorrow what's good everybody thank you for checking me out yes i am here the place that everybody wishes to visit the boot camp in south africa check it out so this is the area where you have different houses with different colors so i'm going to explore i'm going to show you more how beautiful this place is take some shots and tell you what come on the dream definitely has come through brother echo, echo, echo city. Mama wang twala nine Freedom is coming tomorrow. What's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. Yes, I am here. The place that everybody wishes to visit. The boot camp in South Africa. Check it out. So this is the area where you have different houses with different colors. So I'm going to explore. I'm going to show you more how beautiful this place is. Take some shots and tell you what. Come on. The dream definitely has come through, brother. Hmm. Yes, sir, brother. Okay, yeah, you know. yeah, you know. This is boot camp. Wow. Boot camp. Yes, so let me go around to show you how beautiful this place is. What's up, bro? You good? Straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be shy of nobody, just talk to people. You be cool. Wow. How are you? Not a short, a short story. Right. Just for you to have an understanding of this place. So firstly, Right. Okay, bye. Okay, okay, guys. So, firstly, guys, the name itself, Bokap. Okay. So, the, yes, the meaning of Bokap, it means above the Cape. Above the Cape. Yeah, above the Cape. Because it rests above Cape Town. So, it goes all the way along the mountain. And then it's one of the oldest, oldest, oldest cities, um, which was first built for slaves, to keep slaves. Be before they were colorful, the all white houses. Slave owners used to stay here, and slaves only. Slaves from different parts. Of, of, of around the world, like from Asia, Indonesia. And then when they came here, they formed their own. So after slavery was done, they formed their own their, their own community. And then they, they call themselves Cape Malay, which is Cape Malay people that are indigenous. Now they became indigenous people of South Africa. They have their own food, which is quite spicy, which is because they're Asian Indians. And then also they have something called cook sister. I don't know if you know about cook sister, yeah. which is quite sweet. It's like a, a dough. Okay. You put it in oil, you put it in sugar, 
and then they enjoy that so something and also some of you in here for for it to be like this this colorful is because they, they celebrate ramadan a lot so ramadan is like fasting so you fast the whole month and then when it's done for them to show their freedom happiness they painted their houses and then they're not allowed to paint until they had a title deed so they're not allowed to own these houses so only after 1950 they're able to own the house okay. so now what's going on now now currently now bigger businesses are coming here forcing local people to move out yeah. because now it looks as, as a business place yeah. and also it's wall street so wall street wall starts street. from there all the way around cape town that's all wall street and then the business are seeing that now people are loving this so all of these tall buildings is a bank yeah. banks hotel mostly hotels so they are blocking the views for people and then also let's say maybe I to be in your, yeah. yes so if, if they listen let's say for instance they want they want this house uh -huh. and then you are the owner say of this house they come to you say they make you off of five million you say no i don't five million because it's my grandmother's house you know they're like okay you don't own the house okay fine they come with a bill from cape town listen you owe you owe the government three million because your grandmother didn't pay so much money so now it's either you pay or you move then now they pay that five million and you get like two million it. then they take the rest and you're out so what they are doing now they are, they are changing this place to become much more business but this is, is more is, so this is more like uh, touristic also, area that yes they should preserve it like this because yes. we all saw it and we said oh then when we're in Cape Town we need to come there I yes book up yes yes book up yes book up book up holds the rich history in terms of slavery of the infantry repeat the wars yeah. um how do we kill how do we bury it so and also indigenous people the first people used to stay here so it needs to be like that but now because of money yeah and and um and how the world is changing and people might will just come you know and also the cost of living some of them they are poor they have no other way for them to survive so they don't accept that offer that has been made for them you know so, so you think that in the next hundred years this might not be here yeah the, the house will be colorful but the indigenous people they won't be staying here. They won't be staying. The, the Malay people they won't be staying here. They'll be staying maybe in Woodstock. So even in Woodstock, it's out now. They'll be staying maybe in Langham Pass or staying in Ponteho. But slowly they're moving out. Slowly. So now we're so, gonna hold on. Do they paint this every year when they are celebrating Ramadan? No, 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 no. So, so, so just to maybe if if, if the car looks bad, okay. they'll, they'll just feel but usually just painted long ago. And then oh, okay. they just revive it to keep it going. So okay. now we're gonna take a walk around here. Okay. Then we're gonna go to a street called Chapman Street, where it's like an Instagram picture where you can take pictures. You know, okay. Maybe ask questions. All right. Feel free, but also hold your phones here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no people here. Yeah. You know. Yo, so know. thanks to the brother for giving me, for giving us this education, this information, this history about boot camp. And it's so sad that people are bringing money to evacuate these people here you know they, they push you with money so that they can take over because they've realized that this place that wasn't like this before it's now active business-wise so people want to move here it's so sad but I love it free Gaza I don't know what that means Palestine okay It's so beautiful, how colorful the place is. I wish I can go in one of them. Wow, look at this car. I like your car. <laughs> look. At long last, I've also visited Boo camp, you know, a community in South Africa, Cape Town, that has colorful buildings, different colors. I see it on Instagram and I'm like, I need to visit this place. And today I'm here, so lovely. Look, okay. So it goes all the way down there? All the way down here. This would be nice for picture taking. Yeah, so if you want me to take pictures, guys, let me know if I take a group picture. Okay. Mm -hmm. The way they build is the same.
same same stone. So they replaced like stones. They replaced the stones around here. So these are the stones that took off the stones. It's good romantic, they say. Romantic. Yeah, I can tell you. So the houses goes all the way up there, down here. This guy looks like he doesn't have brakes. It's like this. These are the locals. So you know you see wearing a kufiya, Muslim attire, they are the two locals. But the rest of us are just um, tourists. Yeah. Yeah. 
This one. Yeah. 